Hello, my name is Jacob Harbin, and today I'm going to be interviewing my dad, Senior Chief Jim Harbin. Hi there. My first question for you today is, what was your branch of service and dates of your service? I was in the United States Navy from 1993 to 2015. I served 22 years and retired. It's a long time. Why did you join the military at first? Um, I felt that as a sense of duty, I had always wanted to serve, and I felt like uh, when I was 17, I joined the military, uh, but I didn't leave for basic training uh, until I was 18, after I graduated high school at Hot Springs High School. Awesome. What was your job in the Navy? Uh, my first job in the Navy was a yeoman. Uh, I was kind of an administrator, uh, typically like duties like a secretary would have, uh, memos and working with personnel and stuff. But four years after I joined, I became a cryptologic technician. I went to Pensacola, Florida for school, and we did physical and personnel security. Great. What was it like having a top secret security clearance? It was a huge responsibility. Um, our actions were held to a higher standard, so we made sure that always on our best behavior. And uh, it, it felt like a, a great sense of responsibility because we were... Uh, had access to, to highly classified material. We worked around a lot of uh, different uh, equipment that was uh, intelligent type stuff, and uh, it just a big sense of duty and responsibility to our country for the access we had. Where were you during 9/11? Uh, during 9/11, I was stationed at the Commander Naval Security Group headquarters at Fort Meade, Maryland. Uh, they were co-located with the National Security Agency. Uh, which at that time we weren't, or what we didn't know it then, but eventually later on found out that it was one of the targets as well that the uh, terrorists had uh, targeted. But um, we were responsible for, I worked for an admiral at the time as his aide, and he was responsible for all the naval security groups uh, throughout the world. Wow. Where were you stationed around the world? I was stationed all over uh, Texas, Florida. Maryland, Hawaii, at the Joint Intelligence Center out in Hawaii, uh, Washington State, uh, and I did uh, 10 months in Guantanamo uh, with the detainees. What awards have you received? I received uh, quite a few awards. As you can see, my military uh, ribbons are back there and some of my medals. Uh, the Defense Meritorious Service Medal was the highest award that I received. Uh, the Joint Service Achievement Medal uh, the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal, uh, some volunteer service medals and, and other medals uh, throughout my career. Uh, but probably the most significant one to me was the Admiral Layton Award. Uh, it's an award that was given to uh, uh, an intelligence professional, um, and its significance is, is that it's provided to someone who uh, made a significant impact in the intelligence community. And at the time, I and since then, I've been the only cryptologic technician to ever receive that award. It's typically reserved strictly for intelligence specialists. Um, but uh, So I'm very proud to have been uh, uh, given that award by the Director of Naval Intelligence at the time. Wow, that's a pretty big award. What is the most memorable thing from your time in the military? Um, well, like many people that served in the military, I've had good jobs, bad jobs. Uh, I don't miss uh, scrubbing anything in the head. Uh, to most civilians, that's, that's the bathroom. The head is the bathroom. Um, but the relationships that you build with other people, you know, you get taken away from home. Uh, we move every two to three years, um, sometimes even more than that for some people in the service. And during that time frame, you know, you make different relationships with other people. And I think that's the, the biggest thing that's been the most important to me as well is just those relationships with those soldiers, sailors, airmen uh, that I served with, uh, and Marines around the world, and being able to get back to our community and, and talk to people, I had an opportunity, and I think that's the biggest thing that had an impact on me, was just the opportunities that the military provided uh, to be within our community and uh, serve our country and, and, and give back to the people. Um, I was able to work with the Meals on Wheels program, Habitat for Humanity, coach kids soccer, uh, and just do all kinds of different things that, you know, it wasn't just about my service, it was about really giving back to uh, the people that we were there defending as well. And, uh, I just really enjoyed my time.
yeah, it's great of you to do all those things. But those are all the questions I have, and I just wanted to say thank you for your service and thank you for being my dad. No, you're welcome. I love you, buddy. Yeah, no, looking back on my 22 years, I, I really enjoyed the time, and I'm thankful for it, even though it was a huge sacrifice, um, you know, just for not being able to be around you growing up. You know, the entire time I was in Guantanamo Bay and deployed while, while you were a baby and with your sister Jenna and your brother Caleb, you know, they missed me a lot too as far as uh, birthdays and Christmases and, and all those kind of things, but it was all worth it. And I think every military member would, would look at it back at it and, you know, be thankful for the opportunity and the time that they had uh, and being able to serve our true country. Well, thank you.